All right, it's your boy. I'm back. Hugh Morris, boy, as I say. One, two books. 10%. We're going to get right to it, y'all. I'm trying to pick this phone up because I'll be looking at stuff to say when I'm explaining stuff to y'all. So let me make this clear. I'm going to be concise and to the point. In every situation, you have to acknowledge that you took some part in it. You may have initiated some form of fashion or something that you may not have done. So I call it 10%. So the other day, I was praying Mashana Na, Mashando, but Big Brother said, Don't do Mashando. was, uh, <laughs> be like, uh, because I, I kept hearing 10%. I'm like, okay. And I'm thinking, like, Lord, I give you more than 10%. That ain't going to do it, money. He said, 10% is acknowledging what you do or what you don't do. Did y'all hear what I just said? Let me even say that again. Either acknowledge what you do or what you don't do. I want y'all to grasp this because this is what he was showing me. So you're in your relationship, you're married. And every time you talk to somebody, all you do is talk about all the failures, the flaws, the downtrodden moments, the negativity, the derogatory things about your mate. Where your temper's at? Y'all feel where I'm going out. I want y'all to, want y'all to grasp it. I want y'all to hold on to somebody when I'm saying this. Where's your temper's at? I mean, acknowledging that you took part in this situation. You took part in the marriage. You took part in the negativity. You may have took part in the derogatory stuff. See, if you're not encouraging them, lifting them, but then you want to talk bad about them when they do something wrong. You realize sometimes they might have got the behavior from you. Ooh, uh, Lord Jesus, we're gonna slow. Down. I'm gonna slow down, Jesus. They weren't ready for that. They weren't ready for that, Lord. I'm, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. They may have got that negative behavior from you. So when you look at all the flaws that your mate has, this that you ever stop to think they even picked up your bad habits? So that could be your ten percent. Because ten percent don't seem like a lot, but it really is when you bringing people to their demise because. Me and Sid had a conversation. We was talking one day about something, and then when she says certain things, my tone seems to change. She recording her, but I realized it was changing because certain things I don't be want to hear. That's my my term. I'm, I'm working on y'all. I'm working on my patience. I'm, I'm, he, he working with me. He going through me. He, he get me right. But certain things I'll be like, oh, I don't want to be bothered with that. With certain situations, but I'm learning to be more patient. But my tone will change. My tone will become a more condescending tone when it's something I don't want to be bothered. Like I ain't. I'm like I ain't doing that. And that's what will happen. But instead of me being approachable, I make myself approachable just by that one variance in my tone. See, that's my 10%. That's me acknowledging that, okay, you told me I had a flaw. I paid attention, realized I do have a flaw. So what am I going to do to rectify it? See, when I'm telling you your 10%, I want you to acknowledge that 10% of the time is your fault. It may not be 100%. And then some of y'all, some of y'all, I'm not to say this because y'all ain't ready. Some of y'all, you actually might be the 90% that's the problem. And the, your mate is just a 10 because you carry so much burden and so much weight. And the thing is, things ain't going the way you want them to. So if things ain't happening the way you want them to, uh, ask yourself what you're not doing. Don't blame them and say, well, if you would have did this, you would have did it. Listen, this is how you do it. It's called rewind. Reset. However you want to do it. Imagine your life without them. So now if you used to picture your life right now where you're at and say you're in the exact same situation, but without your mate. And picture that scenario that happened in your mind with just somebody that you'd be dating, but they're not physically there to have, have that problem with you. You ever start to think that you might be the problem or the issue? Hello, somebody. Y'all want, y'all want ready. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm on fire today. Y'all, ooh. Y'all ain't ready. I'm telling you this, this stuff. This, this, y'all, y'all ain't ready for this type of stuff. All I'm saying is, look at everything that's wrong with your mate. Write everything that you don't like down, and then ask yourself why you don't like it. I told some people that before. I mean, we're working on that because my thing is when you find out why you don't like it, nine, nine times out of ten because that's the things that's wrong with you. I want you to think about it and always let that sink in. It's your boy.